Hey guys, Tim Ryder here. So today I'm going to take you through my training split that I've been doing to lose body fat and to get shredded for my upcoming uh, men's physique competition. So uh, as you can see, six days a week and we've got two weight sessions per day on most days. So the reason why I chose to do this is to kind of break it up so I can still hit like back for example. I can do a full session on back, get plenty of volume in, keep the intensity high, keep the workout duration kind of short. Around 40 to 45 minutes will be most of these workouts. Um, yeah, so get a full session in on back and then come back in the afternoon and hit biceps and then do a little bit of high intensity interval training. Um, so rather than your traditional uh, like cutting approach to training, where you do one weight session followed by like 40 minutes of cardio, or you do like faster cardio every morning. So when you do heaps of low steady state cardio, you're signaling your body to basically get rid of muscle. And a lot of guys have this trouble when they uh, start their cut. They'll do a bulk, they'll put on plenty of good muscle, but then when they cut, they'll lose all the muscle that they just put on during the bulk because Muscle is metabolically expensive. The body doesn't want to hold on to muscle. It wants to get rid of it. It wants to be as efficient as possible. And it wants to hold on to fat because fat is like its emergency stores of energy. So what I'm doing here by doing two weight sessions per day, I'm signaling the body that muscle's important. We want to keep a hold of muscle. And by doing these two weight sessions, I'm burning a lot of calories kind of similar to as if I would just do a low steady state cardio training. Uh, so that's one thing to note, there's not a lot of low steady state training, only on one day do I actually like jump on a treadmill for 40 minutes or a stair machine for like 20 minutes. That's kind of the only steady state training that I do. Uh, sometimes I'll go for a walk in the morning, like a bit of faster cardio, just to like make sure I'm covering all bases. But that's only like one day a week, if that. So thing to note, we've got a lot of volume in here. This program isn't for everyone. I was already training with a lot of uh, volume to start with. So this is a full leg session right here. And then you're still gonna come back in the afternoon and do calves and a little bit of cardio there with some skipping. So by no means should everyone follow the program that I followed. This is just what's worked for me. It might not work for you. It might be too high volume. Um, I've managed to maintain this reasonably well. Um, like I'm not too fatigued, I'm not too sore. So this is an appropriate amount of volume for me. These sessions here, about 40 to 45 minutes each. So I'm still not in the gym as long as a lot of guys who come in and they're there for like two hours during one session. I'm in and out in 45, 50 minutes max. And that's because I'm keeping the intensity high. So I'm not resting more longer than a minute in between sets. I'm um, really pushing it as hard as I can. Uh, really uh, just keeping that intensity high, keeping that heart rate up. So basically in these sessions, it's almost like cardio, I'm going that hard. Like I'm out of breath, I'm sweating, and then I come back in the afternoon and I do like some more isolation stuff. Okay, so to get into the specifics, on Monday morning, we've got back, and then in the afternoon, biceps and a high intensity interval uh, workout. So this Monday afternoon workout, the high intensity interval training, um, I'll mix it up pretty much every week. I'll do something different. Uh, it's normally something with a bit of weight to it. Uh, I like to add in some intervals on the rower, kettlebell swings, kind of more like CrossFit style workouts. Nothing more than 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. I like battle ropes, uh, dead ball slams, burpees, just anything. Keep that intensity high, a nice short hit. And like I said, weighted cardio is great because when you do cardio with weights, again, you're signaling the muscle, uh, the body, you're signaling the body that muscle is important and to hold on to that muscle. Okay, so for Tuesday morning, we've got chest and then in the evening, triceps and abs. 
So my ab routines, I'll usually vary it um, kind of one variation there, one variation here. So hit abs at least twice a week, and each time I'll do something different. But I'll usually do a combination of supersets. So I'll start off with a crunching movement, um, normally weighted if I can, and then a leg raise movement. So I'm hitting both the upper and lower abs. And then I'll do a second superset of a rotational movement to get the obliques, and then some form of a static hold or like an ab rollout or something, um, yeah, to kind of hit the more like postural side of the abs and get all the abs together. Okay, so three sets of each superset. Okay, Wednesday morning, legs. Three exercises for quads, three exercises for hamstrings. And then in the afternoon, got a little bit of work on the calves and then some uh, skipping. So what I do, I'll do double unders start off at uh, 200 reps and work my way out from there. So I'm up to like 300, 320 reps this week. So Thursday in the morning we've got shoulders and then the afternoon low intensity stay state cardio. So this is almost like an active recovery session here, um, more than focusing just on that cardio aspect. So I'll just get on the uh, stepper or a treadmill and just go for 40 minutes to an hour. So I didn't include that in this video because yeah, who wants to watch someone walk on a treadmill for an hour? Okay, Friday morning we've got another back session and then in the afternoon biceps and abs. So these two back sessions will be different to each other, won't be the same workout, just hitting all different angles, um, keeping the body guessing, keeping it varied. Same with biceps, different again, and the abs, different to that first uh, session. And Saturday, Saturday is a pretty big session, so I can split up into two halves if I want, but I usually like to do it all in one, first thing in the morning, get my training out of the way for the weekend, and then I have the rest of the weekend to myself. So we've got chest, shoulders, and triceps. And it repeats like that, so it'll be one exercise for chest, shoulders, triceps, and then repeat again, chest, shoulders, triceps, and then a third time, chest, shoulders, triceps. So this is usually like an hour and a half workout, this one. Then Sundays, we go rest day. So even on these rest days, I like to stay moderately active. I've been doing this thing where every single weekend I've been getting out and going on some form of an adventure, like going hiking, uh, indoor rock climbing, just going out and doing something. Um, so I'm still moderately active on that day. I'm not just sitting around playing Xbox or something like that. Go to the beach, go swimming, you know, whatever it is like. And I managed to maintain that every single weekend this year and I'm hoping to continue it for the entire year. Okay guys, so that's my um, program that I've been following. Um, it's been very effective. I've been able to lose 10% body fat at this point and I'm down to below 8% at the moment, getting close to 7%. So tracking really well for my competition in a couple of weeks. Um, like I said, a lot of uh, volume here, not for everyone. So yeah, if you want to copy exactly what I do, feel free to do that. Um, but just like beware, it is a lot of volume if you're not used to that. Uh, definitely not a beginner style program. Yeah, so guys, if you want to lose weight by just using weights, it can be done. Um, as you can see, I'm only doing cardio three, maybe four times a week. Um, but when I'm hitting the weights, I'm hitting them hard and intense, not a lot of rest periods, keeping the heart rate up, lots of sweat, and that's been very effective so far. Okay, so follow along. I hope to get out a video of each of these workouts uh, soon. It takes me a while to edit. I'm not that great at the editing process yet. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Following this, we've got Monday's workout.